Shut up and sit down. What's going on, guys? This is the MMA Complex. My name is Josh. And I'm James. And uh, we are back. It's April 14th, uh, 2020. We're still in quarantine. Yeah. It is going on the second month of quarantine. Um, Has it been two months? No. Close to? Like, I mean, second. I guess it started, what, mid-March. Now mm. we're kind of heading into mid-April. Yeah. Almost a month. Almost almost a month of quarantine. It's not that's the, crazy. It, it sounds. It seems like a little bit. It seems like longer. a long time. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's crazy. But yeah, no, we are back. Uh, it's been it's been pretty decent. You know. Yeah. How was Easter for you? Uh, Easter just uh, passed this past Sunday. Uh, it, it was quiet. Uh, I was my, at my girl's house. Her mom made food. We just sit yeah. in the room and watch a bunch of movies and our shows. Can't really do much. Uh, no. Plus the weather sucked ass too. Yeah, it was really cloudy and cold that whole week prior to that. Yeah. Prior to the weekend, it was all rainy that week. It was all rainy. Yeah, the weather hasn't been like the greatest. I think. I think for me, uh, this quarantine thing hasn't. You know, I I don't like when the weather's like that mm-hmm. because I can't even go outside. You know, or can't really enjoy out. Be- I could go outside. I've been going outside and taking my kid around. Yeah. Um, but, but just being able to like sit out there and relax yeah. and to kind of like just like have go play in the backyard and it's, do all this. It's depressing because then like you're forced to stay inside. You're forced to stay inside. And yeah. like you gotta like face. It's even worse. Yeah. Um, but other than that, everything's been good. Yeah, but I can't complain. Yeah. yeah. We were talking about WrestleMania. We were talking about uh, WWE, all things WWE. Or you're showing me some of the segments from WrestleMania. It's Bizarre, wow. right? I mean, yeah, it's like pretty, pretty, pretty out, out there. there. Um, yeah, I didn't see any of the matches. You didn't show me any of the matches, but I saw you saw you showed me the two segments of Undertaker and um, AJ, Styles. AJ Styles, and then you had um, a uh, Wyatt, a Brett and, Wyatt, and, and, um, John Cena. and John Cena. I don't know how I feel about the Brett Wyatt and John Cena. I, I liked it. I liked the, I liked the 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 idea mm-hmm. of it being all in, you know like in this mind game. You know this trippy trip that they have John Cena going on, and then, and then, yeah. But I, it, it I, was out of the box for, for yeah, it was no, out there, man. I think I think it was the the the, the going editing? from one the editing. Mm. I, I think I think it was the editing for me where I was just like, it's like I don't know where they're going, where the, where are they going with this? So I don't I don't know what what to make of it. And then I kind of obviously you you get the idea of what they're doing, and then how it ended. I don't know. I just it was all right, you know. Like yeah. both of them were kind of out there. I think the Undertaker and AJ Styles. I think I like that more. Yeah, just like it had a, actually had wrestling in it. Yeah, and a it little bit very I heavily guess. produced and very heavily produced. I don't know why. <laughs> how come they didn't just do like how they would do um, hardcore matches and just? Like, I think they, they did a little bit, but then it was like just. I think. I think they did. They did the bonyard. You, forward, you forwarded it a lot. Huh. I didn't actually say the whole thing. No, but they they go through a different. Like they don't stay in the same like vicinity of the cemetery. They kind of like go out and yeah. they fight like in the warehouse and okay, okay. The matches okay. go okay. okay. Around I didn't the see cemetery. it all then. I didn't see it all. So yeah, yeah. I, I think I like that one because it reminded me more of the hardcore matches. Yeah. it had it had Undertaker as the American badass again. Yeah, and that's why I think I like that one more. It wasn't as choppy. I, I like the idea of being out way out there and the risk that they took with the John Cena thing and being all trippy and all that. I like that I, the idea behind it, um, but it was a the choppiness of the the going from one thing to another. Yeah, that yeah. Threw me off a little bit. Yeah, like all the d- different decades yeah. that John Cena was at. But yeah, no, you're right. The Tigger match was in, was entertaining in a sense it where it was too. really funny. Yeah, like it's ridiculous. It's it so was fucking stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, especially like AJ's hand yeah. coming out of the graveyard you know, at the end. You, you know, it, you, you saw it, it yeah. was literally like a fake hand. Just, yeah, it was like, like a fake arm. Yeah, yeah, because your arm was all shiny and like <laughs> yeah. the glow was like all. Like, it, it was, was stiff. It was like just, yeah. it wasn't even like uh, there was no life to it. It was yeah. just a stiff hand. And this is the way they shot AJ in the grave, and they cut to take his face, and yeah. they gave yeah. AJ Charles enough time to get out. But yeah, it was it was out there. I mean, kudos to the WWE too for not only making that event 
continue, but to Take go out of their element and, and do what they did. Yeah. Taking chances. Yeah, no, kudos to them. I didn't mind I didn't mind them going on with their event. Actually I was a little probably as far as MMA is concerned, a little jealous that they were able to do it with such ease. But then they you also have to think and we we're talking about this. They, they don't have as much oversight. No. They're not and you know at all. Dana White's we're 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 regulated by the government. Yeah. Well, now you're you're regulated by the government. You can, if they say yeah. no, they're going to tell you no. Yeah, so and you know, and the WWE has has what the UFC has. That they have their own like the, the UFC has the Apex, and the WWE has their performance center. Yeah, where they can shoot. They 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 treat it as a a training facility slash where they can actually shoot shoot shows there. Yeah, it's like a small little arena, which is kind of cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I just, uh, I don't know. I like I was, yeah, jealous because they're able to put on it with such ease. But then you're looking at the big break they got. Um, I know their their home base. I think in the, where is it? Kansas City or where's it? Uh, where's Florida. Home base? Is it in Florida? Their home base? Their no, their their home base is New York, but they do all the the training facility stuff in Florida. So yeah, it's in well, Florida. there you go. That brings up our next uh, topic about that is because. Um, Florida just gave WWE the okay to put on events, yeah. basically uh, under the guidelines of uh, you know social distancing and all that. Um, just put, go on business as usual. They got the okay from the Florida governor. They're good to go. Um, Trump mentioned, I think, in a press conference today, Dana White and McMahon by name as being the forefront of put, bringing sports back. Mm. Um, but it's easier for those. The, these two, those two, two entities to put on events because it's really just because they control their own league. They can, yeah. And not to mention, it's it's uh, only two people normally within a, a match anyway. So yeah. it's it, it yeah, with, WWE or UFC with so. the with the uh, with the NFL, NBA, NHL. It's going to be a lot harder for those guys yeah. to come back. Their leagues, they're like different teams. Yeah, they're like like an NBA is like what fifteen. T- players on the team, not yeah. including the coach, coaching staff. Like, where do you put the bench? Trainers. How do you, do you spread them out? That's way too many yeah. people in one room anyway. Yeah, refs, uh, you know, just everything. The, the announcer, like, it's just so yeah. many, so many, so many elements involved, to it. You know? to run a, uh, like one, like one of those sports. Yeah, with the UFC and 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 the WWE, there's one guy controlling every everybody. And yeah, they, and they have the power to control who comes in, who comes out. Yeah. And it's um it's a big win for the WWE. Uh, it's potentially a big uh big uh um thumbs up towards the UFC to put on events in Florida if WWE was able to go, able to get the okay. Um, especially and then Trump mentioning you know Dana White and being such good friends with Dana White, you know you know a one call to the governor who's already a a buddy of Trump. Yeah. Okay. You you know for sure they're gonna get the okay from from the yeah. governor there, and there's gonna be. Uh, events for the UFC in there. Um, before we get to the UFC, um, sticking on the WWE stuff for now, a little bit of both. The world, uh, Ronda Rousey just made you know she made the rounds a couple of, for the past couple of days regarding her comments about the WWE and the fans and her displeasure with uh, how their attitudes and their their lack of respect for her and the lack of uh, appreciation for her efforts. While she was in the WWE, and she just, you know, mm. they'll just, there's, there's, you know, if you look at it, knowing how WWE works, you know, is it a spin? Is it, is it a work? Is it, is it WWE? Yeah. Hey, while you're away, keep up the, you know, the persona of like the fans. Obviously, the fans didn't really take well to you. Right. You kind of went heel anyway. Yeah. Um, keep it up while you're on doing your thing. What do you think? Uh, well, I think some of the comments that she did was like, I think she said like, um, if people are getting upset at me for calling wrestling fake, then they have something else coming to them. Like, I, I'm paraphrasing here, but she's yeah. pretty much saying that anybody who, that can, can fight, you know, like 365 fights and all that stuff. Yeah, she fake fights. Stuff. And she said like, anybody that can fight 365 dates a year and not get injured. Yeah. That, you know they're pretty much stupid because yeah. it's, it's all phony, um, but you know, I think with Ronda Rousey, um, so in pro wrestling, there's a a term called heat mm-hmm. where you get 
a, a negative reaction to you. And there's two types of heat in 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 pro wrestling. There's a there's heat where people kind of boo you because you're because you're the bad guy, and they, they almost love to boo you. Yeah, like they they want to cheer for you, but they they kind of don't just because you're the bad guy. And then on the flip side, um, X Pac heat where people see you and they want to change the channels right exactly. away. Um, I think I think Ron has Xbox Heat. You think she's Xbox Heat? Yeah, Xbox Heat. Yeah, just because like you hear what she's the kind of things he says and and how she is and, how, and you know the way she she handles certain situations to kind of roll your that, eyes. Is that the where is that the, at the point of the show where people go up to and go make a sandwich or go? Yeah, they kind of roll their eyes at Ron. They're like, oh yeah. God, you know. And I think I think she has that Xbox Heat right now. Um, I'm not sure if this is a work or a shoot i think it's a little bit of both yeah. somewhere in the middle but i think that um for someone who who talks about respect doesn't it's not respecting the business yeah. of, of her wrestling and she's kind of the, like the cape cape vape killer almost yeah to a point so i think that she should um she shouldn't be saying all this shit because what's gonna happen when she does it's just decide to go back to pro wrestling yeah i mean she obviously didn't have to keep with that heel Persona. Feel momentum, persona, and then just roll with it, and probably go even more with it, and maybe start jumping girls and yeah. But you know what? Like it, it kind of reminds me of when Bret Hart turned heel, because when Bret Hart turned heel in ninety six, late ninety six, um, his reasoning was made sense. You know, he he felt like the American fans turned their back on him, and they're chewing Stone but he, Cold. But he also wasn't beloved. Like she was not beloved. Like oh, like like Bret was. Like Bret was. But I think with, I think with Ronda, like if you remember that WrestleMania when she, when the Rock when she went with the Rock, and then yeah. I think she, judo, tossed Triple H. And yeah, people loved her, and then when she came, her first year in the WWE, people loved her, and then all of a sudden, they started hating her. I think with Ronda, she doesn't have thick skin, so when she when she sees anybody booing her, she gets pissed off. Yeah, I do think that she's doing this for a reason. I think she's doing if, if it is a work. Her talking shit is gonna kind of up her her heat. Yeah, when she does come back, she'll be the most hated wrestler there yeah. because of the current comments she made. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it can be a little bit of both, but I just think that it's her just trying to be relevant because no one even talks about her anymore. Yeah, and why why do you think she's taking so much time off? Is it really her trying to get pregnant and start I mean, family? If it is, I mean, her husband is shooting blanks. <laughs> yeah. Right. Like, yeah. Like I don't. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I like that's true. I thought the same thing. I'm like, you've been talking about starting a family for a long time. Like, yeah, like, is it? Is it? Are you having trouble? You know, is it? Is it because? I don't know. Where's the baby bump? You know what I mean? Like, what's taking? You know, what's taking so long? Maybe, yeah. either she's having trouble, or he, or, or, or he's he having is. trouble. Yeah, but my, it, chances it, are she might be having trouble. Maybe, yeah. Is this is this weird how like she oh yeah because Trevor has he has he has kids right from first yeah, he's marriage got kids. he's got two so maybe it's Ronda's too much kicks in the pussy or something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean you gotta think too I mean she she is a she is an athlete she's had a lot of um, a lot of bumps and bruises mm -hmm. you know what I mean but these those things happen people can make it work but also like I mean I wonder who knows I mean. If she is having trouble, it is her personal thing, and she doesn't want to talk about it. Uh, if she hasn't mentioned anything about it, if she is having trouble having kids, or if she's like has a certain date in mind when she's in a plan to have something like that, but it's just weird how she's kind of just she's pops been up. Talking about it, yeah. And she just pops up out of nowhere and yeah. starts talking. So I think it's her just trying to be relevant, and I think she realizes that everyone's in quarantine and they're they're like they're hungry for any kind of story. Yeah. So when they see her talking shit, she knows that. Her name are going to be in people's mouths. Yeah, and, and, and that's exactly what's going on right now. Yeah, it's it's um, it's interesting to see how 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 her story kind of has gone. Um, I think I think people just like winners, and I think if she would have left the UFC before she had the devastating loss to Holly, yeah, she, she would have been a mega star. She would have been a mega star in the WWE. Yeah. I think she would have had a better attitude going into it. Mm. Um, you know, and I think. She ended up losing twice. She pretty bad the second time to Amanda, um, and then left to the WWE. And she was a double, double, you know, double back-to-back -back losses. Mm -hmm. 
devastating losses, high profile losses. And then what the WWE fans are just going to supposed to take. It's like they're taking UFC's leftovers mm. and they don't want that. They don't want a loser. They don't want a sore loser, especially her, yeah. because we, she was already labeled a sore loser leaving the UFC. Yeah, exactly. And, and I don't think it hurt her. I think yeah. it hurt her. I'm oh yeah. Big time. Yeah. So I think it hurt her chances to, for the, the fan, WWE fans to accept her to, to be on her good side. And, or, you know, and I think it just, it, her name was burned by the time she got there and then, she yeah, exactly. Could do. Exactly. And I think I think too, like I think what the WWE kind of messed up is that they they put the title on her way too fast. I think this it should have been a they pushed her way too, <clears> way too hard. So built. Yeah. I think people like the chaser than than someone already becoming champion. And it's different nowadays because a lot of the you know, the backstage talk, negotiations, all that comes out yeah. nowadays. And so people know what's going on and know yeah. all, all the gossip and all that stuff. They know. Yeah. So yeah, it's 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 yeah. There's that. Um, what else? Uh, the it's going on with the with WWE and the UFC that they're they're constant, you know, being uh, discussed in the same sentence. Uh, UFC is projected to have a uh, an event. Now we, we could talk about. We'll talk about actually with the UFC. Talk about the fact that 249 was canceled. Yeah, it's supposed to be this weekend. Um announced card announced everything announced um uh, governor steps in of california uh speaks to the executives the high executives top of the top of disney and espn uh asking ufc to stand down for the moment because they were yeah. going to go ahead and have 249 at tachi palace and on the indian reservation. reservation yeah um that plan was nixed and then that's it that was done squashed on the same week yeah basically um Unfortunate, I guess, for the UFC, you know, but kudos to them. They were able to put on a, an event, uh, get the, everything going. They had everything in place, and then, you know, they was out of their hands. Um, yeah. Fight Island is still a go, supposedly, according to Dana White. He still has plans uh, to get that going soon. He has a group of Mexicans over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's got some island, undisclosed location, have everything built. He said uh, within a month he thinks he's going to have it ready. Um, in the meantime... Today they just announced a, a projected date to have a, a basically two forty nine again uh, rescheduled uh, with some added fights. I think Joanna might be on the card. I think uh, Henry Cejudo versus Dominic Cruz will be on the card. Um, there's a lot of names being thrown out there to join that card. It's going to be the super super. It's two forty nine plus um, on May 9th, undisclosed location. If in the states, I would assume. In the states, Florida would probably be the more likely state, yeah, know, to, the to state to it. have it in, uh, especially if the governor's got the given the okay to have everything. Um, is is it going to yeah. be on ESPN or is it going to be on? Well, uh, well, Dana yeah. Dana said uh, he no he wouldn't he right? yeah Dana said he wouldn't do an event if you have, unless ESPN and all them were were good to go. And he says, once they give me the green light, I'm gonna have an event. So I'm assuming he got the green light that let's aim for May 9th. Mm. So, and but chances are, things will start to lighten up around that time. Mm. At least restrictions uh, in yeah. terms of in in you know closed door restrictions and and limiting. I think social distancing is still gonna be a thing because there's still no official treatment for coronavirus. There's still no vaccine. Mm. So we're going to be going through this social distancing type of wearing masks and gloves. Yeah. You know, for quite some time, I think. But um, getting things going, the economy going and back to work, I think, you know, chances are that's going to happen probably sometime in May. Because mm. we're, on, we're in lockdown until May 15th, at least. Yeah. That's the, you know, tentative date. Uh, but May 9th, UFC is planning this super event. Um, let me see if I could pull up. Any other names I, that might be on that? I mean, I'm I'm happy that. Yeah. What are your thoughts on them? I mean, I'm happy that they they the governor stepped in. Yeah. Because I mean, why force something? I mean, and have an event for for nothing. I think, I think it was the best case scenario was for them to like wait it out, mm -hmm. and that way you can get Khabib back to the states and mm -hmm. and have that massive fight. Then, then just push two guys together and make an interim fight for nothing. 
Yeah. So I'm kind of happy that it, it well, worked out the way they did. Even though I know May 9th that they're talking about Gaethje and Tony again. Tony again. I think that's right. that's going to be the main event. I don't think – because uh, you have Khabib going in Ramadan pretty soon. Yeah. Um, so with, with Florida being open for the WWE, they've been given the good to go. It's most – Signs are pointing to Florida, Florida. being the 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 location. Uh, Fight Island is still a ways away. Uh, that'll probably be sometime after this event. Um, but I think I think Fight Island is going to be the thing that they're going to keep on going because arenas, all these other things, are just not going to be in play for quite some time mm. unless arenas start to come up with some type of protective measure, yeah. like you know everybody wears masks and gloves mm. and shit. You know? Okay, so um. Just breaking down the card, you have Tony Ferguson versus Justin Gaethje. That's still the headliner. Uh, Henry Cejudo, Dominic Cruz is being in the works uh, to headline 250. Was originally set to headline 250, but they're looking to put it on this card. Uh, Amanda Nunez versus Felicia, Spen- Felicia Spencer mm. is on this card. Branson Zagano, Rosenstrike, and uh, the rest of the card, for the most part, on um, uh, the old... Justin Gaethje Ferguson card. Most of those fights, I think, will be moved to this one. Okay, uh, they're just going to be pushed back, given more time to okay. train, I guess. But. I mean, yeah, it's a. I mean, the fight one and two, man, the the co and the main. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a great one two punch right there. One two punch. That's a, that's a great like all four of those. If that's a main main card right there, that's a, that's a. Now, what do you think about them charging? They're I still, think they still had the price. They still were going to charge for the. That's my yeah. That's my original question. Um, I think it shouldn't be behind a, a pay scale. I think that um, at least ESPN Plus. I, I would uh, like if I on ESPN Plus. Yeah. Or ES and and that be your pay scale. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like that'll be your paywall. Yeah, I mean, no, I think no double paywall. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. I don't know. I I wouldn't be opposed to that. I just think it should be free, just because a lot of people still don't have ESPN Plus. Yeah, and if they want to like should it be bring on big, back big ESPN? Yeah, I think so. I think you know, I think the world right now is starting for for sports, and yeah. I think they'll probably get the most views out of everything, yeah. anything and, going on right now. And then the, it, it benefits the fighters; they have all these, you know, them being the first live event. You know, people are going to be glued to the television, thirsty for anything. Yeah. So it helps them getting, you know, for the casual fans to f- see these guys f- probably for the first time fighting. Yeah. And also, what's happening in our world right now? You know, right now, there's a lot of people out there that are not working, that are making ends meet, and then you're gonna charge them for a fight? That's not gonna. Yeah. That's not gonna work. You should, you know, because yeah, you of what's going on in the, in the world, put on ESPN so everyone can see, and it benefits everybody. I think. Yeah. Think, think, think about promotion. the economy. Think about the people. Yeah, because if, if someone, if Joe Blow, like who works, Just who is not working, ago. yeah, and then he won't see this fight, but he can't because he's asked to pay sixty bucks or seventy bucks or how many much it is. He's gonna say, "Well, it's good to you." See, they're just being yeah. greedy. It makes yeah. him look bad. It's a, it's it's not gonna benefit the UFC UFC in at any all. way at all. At least in that sense, they can get. You know, ESPN and all that, and Disney, and, and even maybe the UFC fighters can get ad revenue. Yeah. Let let the company slowly build up. You know, maybe wait yeah. a couple of months before they start charging. But right away, to like say, yeah. here, I'm expecting you guys to pay this much money, even though you, like, none of you guys are working. Yeah. I don't think it, I, I think it makes them look bad. Yeah, it's messed up. No, it's not going to really benefit, and it's not going. It's not going to get any eyeballs. I don't. I don't see them. Oh, it's Corona coronavirus time and and people are just going to be starved for entertainment and and with us putting this on behind They'll double pay. Pay, double paywall yeah it's it's you know our numbers are going to go up you know espn's numbers are going to go up no it's, it's just it's not it's, not. it's mm. just gonna they're not gonna really it's not gonna benefit anybody i don't think yeah it's gonna leave a bad taste in people's mouths if anybody is gonna force people to just uh, even are interested to go the illegally back, stream it the back door and illegally stream it yeah those and, and that's even if they're even remotely interested mm-hmm. you know i mean casual fans are just not even going to know it's probably yeah you know happening my my i think i was talking to my talking to my dad or talking about somebody and um i think they were having a replay of a fight on saturday and he was 
saying that like oh is there is there going to be a fight on saturday or something like this mm-hmm. and i saw some ads for it and like i'm saying like like that's what i'm saying like and it wasn't it was i think it was a replay of a of an older fight uh, that happened like maybe last year and i think mm-hmm. it was luke thomas and all them were gonna we're gonna do a live like a live coverage play by play a recap of it okay on espn um or showtime i'm sorry and um and just if the ufc were to do something like that promote the hell out of it on espn yeah. ads 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 for the next like month may 9th may 9th this big yeah. gigantic card it would just the amount of eyeballs that amount of views and ESPN. Yeah. Imagine the numbers that they would get yeah. on ESPN, especially that you know how it could be running on ESPN Sports Center. It, it can be talked about on First Take, all the different platforms within the ESPN. Yeah, it'll be huge. Now, obviously, the people who are running this thing are probably having the same conversation. Yeah, if they were able to do that, that felt like it was. A great idea, and they should they should they should capitalize on this thing. I'm sure mm. they would. Yeah. No, I'm sure contracts and stuff like that gets in the way, but I don't know. But it's just us coming from people who are not executives at any of these companies. Exactly. So yeah, that's a that's a not a bad card. I think if they're going to be if they have the date set and they know they're going to because they, imagine that they have to pull and cancel this fight again. Mm. It's just embarrassing. Yeah. Like I think I don't think they would mention May 9th if they weren't given like a ninety five percent chance that this thing is gonna happen. Yeah. Especially it felt like twice already, right? Yeah. Or once. Yeah. Twice. Once. Once. But I mean, well twice if you want to consider the before pre oh. pre corona. Yeah. During you know, post corona during corona. That was that that's that's crazy to me that yeah. this time it got cancelled because of the national disaster. Yeah. And it's crazy walking around because I'm wearing this right now. A little yeah, Toy right? Story. I have a little Toy Story one because you know, like, you know, like my son likes Toy Story. But I was, uh, I um, just walking around with gloves and mask just to go to like Target. It's crazy, just, it's, right? It's weird. It's crazy. It's like it's just. It's it's become our new norm. Yeah. Like what people are people are taking selfies with masks. No. Yeah. Yeah. Like who has the coolest mask? Yeah. I did one today because <laughs> like, my first time really wearing it. And I was just like, I was just walking around like this the whole freaking day. And yeah. I'm like, I just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a new norm. It's, it's crazy. Cause norm. like, you don't really notice in it. Cause you know, obviously when you're at home, you're just hanging out at home. Yeah. But when you go outside, like you see people walking around with a mask and prior, prior to coronavirus, when we see the Asians doing it, we go, what yeah, that? it's <laughs> mainly, Asian. Look, at that, look at that moron <laughs> wearing a mask. Mainly Asian Americans or anything like that, that, that yeah. would uh, like wear yeah. and any type would, of protective covering yeah. in public. And we would always like, and we just wrote it off as just like, man, this is how yeah. they're, it's part of the culture. You know, they wear it over People there. People are weird. There. Yeah. Um, and now I see everybody doing it. Now everybody is doing it. And now you almost feel weird because you don't have one. Yeah. And, but now, but at least with California, oh, yeah. At least with California now, it's you're 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 it's mandatory to have one when you're entering like business, or at least it's it's highly recommended to yeah. do it. And businesses have the right to refuse service, right? If you don't, but it's it's yeah no, it's crazy because, um, yeah, it's it's just it's so weird. normal. This is weird. It's, where where do you think? How do you think sports like the UFC or any of these other? Uh, we're talking trying to talk about uh, before the podcast uh the, how they're gonna go about starting up again how let's say let's say may is like they're gonna start easing restrictions but they're definitely because there's no vaccine and no no treatment really like it has to be in an how empty would they arena do it? like is it empty a bunch of empty arenas i think so i think i think the, you can't get away i mean you can't go around that i think yeah it has to be for the safety of not only the fighters but for everybody for for the for the crowd themselves yeah i think that i mean the most extreme scenario i think that if there is an audience there would be an audience full of people wearing masks and gloves yeah temperature checks i, I was telling i was telling about like temperature checks i was telling liz temperature checks at, at like i see disney opening back up at, at the very least you know having people wear masks and temperature checks yeah at the well, gate 
the WWE for the for the WrestleMania, they screened the fighters once, checked their temps, tested them, and then they were cleared of wrestle. How do you do that with the mass amount of people wanting to go to a park? In and well, out? for for parks and stuff, yeah. I mean, temp checks is definitely like you can get either a disposal of thermometer or the ones that you just push on the forehead and it reads your your temp. Yeah, does each person? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I mean, but I think that for the early stages of this, it's going to be empty, empty arenas. But even then, like some people don't show si symptoms. Don't they? Don't have. You no, know, you know you're right. That, that's don't a scary thing. Fevers. That's a scary thing. Like some people, are like mainly like athletes, professional athletes, don't have no symptoms at all. Yeah, they feel fine. They feel like me and you. Yeah. So and then it's, they, it's, some people they hit them hard. You know, it's not, you know. It depends and, on your immune system and how strong yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how they're gonna do it. I don't. I, I don't see. I don't know because a, a vaccine will be a year to. A year, almost two years away to developing any type yeah. of vaccine or treatment. Like, I think that's that's like super as fast as a year. Yeah, and I think that at our early stages, we're like they're gonna really lift some of these restrictions. I think they're gonna be in empty arenas at least for for the first couple of months, or maybe a, through the summer. Yeah, and fall. I think they start lifting. Yeah, that those kind of bands but i think i think come summer i think throughout the summer there's going to be an empty arenas yeah empty arenas and and um and if they start letting people in I, I, yeah temperature just because just because it's like it's way too risky yeah and it's 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 more of like risky uh and and especially on the companies and teams themselves you catch it pass it to someone else yeah even they go they, home and they go to their friend yeah, and, and it comes the whole you, you, thing again. They, they, and then it makes the news. Family went to, to Disneyland, came back. By the end of the week, half of them were dead. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, that's, yeah. that's a headline whole, that could happen. This whole infection, you know, starts yeah. up again. Yeah. So I think, you know, at least. Husband least. went to the freaking Knicks game, goes back home. Bangs his uh, wife again. Bang, bangs his wife. Uh, grandparents in the house are dead. Damn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Along with wife. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's just because just he wanted to go to the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it, it's it's risky. It can't, a lot of these, I don't think a lot of these arenas, it's, a lot of these companies will yeah. even be willing to take the chance. No. Even, it's, even if they are hurting for it's money. so much risk and low reward or no reward at all. Yeah. It's, it's, it's even going back to work. I mean, I know you're working right now yeah. and you're working regularly. Uh, going back to work it's like there's no vaccine there's no treatment mm -hmm. if they're planning to get the economy going back in june may end of no, may it's, what know. then you know what do you do yeah <laughs> you know what i mean so i don't know yeah. man i don't know how, how these uh sports uh well, that's the only way they can i can think they can do it yeah. um there's no way for that i wonder if there's i, I know there's probably companies out there that make like metal detectors that have thermal scanning that you walk yeah, in and it scans you right I think the airports do that. Yeah, right? Yeah, like you they walk just, in and, and yeah. They Disney go. spends a few a little bit of money in placing those at the entrances. Mm -hmm. you know, but then again, you know, parks. like you said, a lot of people don't, don't show symptoms. Yeah. They don't have fevers. And that's the tricky part. Like how, you know, how, how does someone go around that, you know? Yeah. But then you know, if if you do, if you put it out there, we're doing what we can. This is this. There, you still run the risk. Be safe. Put it on the people coming in. Yeah, and and just say enter your own risk. Enter your own you gotta, risk. You, you got to do that. But yeah. I, I'm sure if you wear gloves, have a bottle of sanitizer, and wear your mask, yeah. I think you should be okay. Be like wear a mask, six feet apart. But see with the lines though. Yeah, with the lines, yeah. <laughs> like it's gonna that be whole cake. that whole six feet apart. It, it goes, it goes out, the out the window. That's it. Yeah, I don't know how the theme parks are going to do it. I don't know do. how theme parks are going to do it. I don't, yeah. I don't know how Disney Because I, I think the, the social, they're saying that the whole social distancing can, can last for another year. And look at, look at arenas. All the seats are like, like right, right next to next each, each other. other yeah. Even closer than this. Than, than we're sitting yeah. yeah. You're like, you're elbow to elbow with people. Yeah. 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 Good luck. With Movie Adam. theaters. I can see the recliners. You have space, yeah. but that's not enough space. It's crazy seeing like 
new movies they, they can watch at home now because yeah. of this whole thing is going on. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can buy or rent. I mean, I just watched Trolls released. Part 2, World Tour. Yeah, world, yeah, something like that. Yeah, that one came out. I've been seeing yeah. the ads for that on Amazon. You can buy it on Amazon. I watched it for free. It was, it was yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah. They kind of make fun of K-pop, which is kind of hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, man, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be crazy. Um, I think I think what will help is if they're able to some find some much kind of a treatment. Like, okay, when you come in, we're giving you this kind of medication. We're putting you on. You know, you're gonna you're gonna take these IVs. Mm-hmm. You're gonna do this. You're gonna, it's gonna be your your chances are gonna be better. Yeah, but it's not gonna be a guarantee that you're gonna be able to get through this thing until we get a vaccine. I think if they have like, oh, we have, this is the treatment that we put people through. This works. Because all these things, all these different scenarios, I mean, at some point, when they op- we open the, you know, everything up again, the comedy up, we're going to have to face these issues. Yeah. So, and I think a lot of, a lot of it is going to be, well, there's going to be so many people like, there's other cases are going to go back up once they decide oh, yeah. to fucking like, oh, let's get people back to work. Yeah, they fucking, back. Just everybody's gonna get fucking corona, yeah, man. I think so. Yeah, I think in Sweden they're taking the complete opposite approach. Did you see that? No, I haven't seen it. Yeah, in Sweden, there's a you know, obviously the pandemic hit worldwide, and in Sweden, their governor or their prime minister, or whatever the person that in charge of that country, says just live life as normal, no social distancing. You guys just act like like nothing's going on. And we can beat it, and you see. Video, these people were at, at cafes, no one wearing masks, no one wearing gloves. People yeah. were just hanging out right next to each other, just living life. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how, and that's that's their plan of doing of fighting this thing, just act like it's normal. Hmm. That's weird. I wonder how their cases are, though. Is yeah, it's like weird. Sweden, Sweden cases. I don't know, man. It's it's gonna be, it's it's depressing. It is. <laughs> there you go. It's, it's and see how it's going. I don't know. Hopefully, Sweden is a viral punching bag. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like look it the, up. Yeah. Like some of the articles in like Forbes, Wall Street Journal, CNN. Sweden isn't enforcing coronavirus lockdown. See how it's going. Uh, Sweden is a viral punching bag. It's Wall Street Journal. Forbes is 22 scientists say coronavirus strategy has failed as deaths in Sweden top a thousand. Yeah, see, they're just hanging out like like, <laughs> like, 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 like when I saw a yeah. video of like people at cafes having lunch together and just hugging and you know I was like, damn, <laughs> these people are like suicidal, man. No one's wearing masks or nothing. It's, it's crazy. It's um, I wonder if the how the country's reporting the the deaths though. Are they just like not, you know, sensationalizing the. It, it reminds you of like a hippie. Ob- obviously, obviously, like a hippie's approach. Our our media, uh, they love it. They pump it up. They put it out there. Mm. They scare the shit out of everybody. Yeah. I wonder if their their media is not even doing it. They're like barely, they're talking about just like everyday news, but trees. but yeah. coronavirus. Yeah. Like okay, on tonight's agenda, don't mention the virus. Well, Sweden has at least fifty or more. But you can still put on some small mm. events. Um, they have closed high schools and universities, and urged uh, seventy or, or older to stay inside. Um, that's the extent. That's at most they've done. They don't. They haven't closed much of anything else. Uh, sc- um, you know, restaurants are still open. Businesses are still open. Everybody's pretty much going about their life as normal. They just can't. Do mass gatherings mm. of fifty or more, which I mean, that's a pretty decent number. That's a, that's a large number. So I don't know. I mean, yeah, they're, they're it's gonna. I don't see that going well for them. Um, you would think a small country like that, you would be able to, you know, contain it, right? Contain it yeah. because yeah, you're you're a smaller country. It's easier for you guys to kind of contain things, yeah, and control that you're 
people, your economy in a little way, you know. But they've had eleven thousand cases, eleven thousand cases so far, a thousand deaths, and three hundred only three hundred eighty one have a like fully recovered. So they still have a lot of they still have a lot of people in the hospital. That's crazy. Out of that eleven thousand, it's, it's a it's a total hippie approach. Yeah, it's um. Yeah, and their their cases are going up, and their deaths are going up, and everything. It's not going well for them. Their little experiment. But I mean, anybody could have really told them that. Um, but yeah, man. Um, crazy times. Uh, what else? Is, what else is going on? Uh, have you been watching anything on Netflix? Um, or I'm watching movies? the second season of You. Okay. And I'm on season six of Vanderpump Rules. I love that show. Okay. He killed off my girlfriend on you, all right? He killed off the blonde girl from the first season. Yeah, she's, she's still a, a pretty she's, relevant character. Is she still alive at all, or is yeah. she just... Yeah, she's on the show. I okay. think right now they're, they're running the season eight, and she's still on the show. No, 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 for, for, for you. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Season one, yeah. The, 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 not not, Vander, not, not uh, Stassi from, no. from Vanderpump. No, oh, no, no, I love, I love Stassi. But. Like, me too. No, no, no. No, yeah, she, they killed her off. They killed one. her off, right? Yeah, she died. But she's season two is the pretty, best part of the show. Season two is pretty good. It's not, it's not the greatest, but it's entertaining. Yeah. And then I'm watching My Hero Academia, season four, I believe. Okay. I just finished Ozarks. Have you ever seen Ozarks? No. Oh, okay. I fucking love Ozarks. It's, it's uh, the last, the third, I think it was the third season three just ended. Um, it was cool. I liked it. Some people, I, I think uh, if anybody criticizes like oh it's always like it's just too much too much too much going on but it's like it's not too much going on it's so fucking well done the, <laughs> the characters in there are so freaking good yeah so good i love patrick bateman and 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 laura linney are like two of my favorite go-to actors if they're on something i'll probably watch it it's a um, whole cast everybody's just great it's like he's a he's a accountant kind of like manages money a financial advisor and then he ends up getting caught up with a cartel and then he ends up laundering money, and then it's them. Oh wow! Playing the middleman, and it's freaking such a great fucking show. Man. Um, oh, I think I'm almost done with season five of Saved by the Bell, and then then I jump to the college years. Oh, sorry, you're you're watching Saved by the Bell, huh? Sure. Yeah, I just finished watching the Hawaiian style the yeah. mini movie they made while filming season five. You know, Cali <laughs> is so hard. I'm watching um, yeah, Ozarks. I just finished Ozarks. Um, I'm rewatching the 70s show. Um, I, I got into formula one racing. Like I, I, I was always like a, intrigued by it because yeah. it's not NASCAR. And so it's like better than NASCAR in a yeah. way, like the tracks, it's more dangerous. The track, the cars are nicer. It's like rich people racing, Yeah, but it's so freaking good on uh, the show on Netflix. It's Netflix produced, uh, like sports docu docu series. And it's uh, it's uh, it follows the 2018 season, 2019 season. And obviously, 2020 season is gonna be pushed back. But um, it's so freaking good, man! I fucking love it. Dude. I gotta check it out. Me and Liz have just binged the la like binge the. We finished the second season. I think we we're on the last episode. It's like you think, oh, it's racing, blah blah. blah it could be boring. No, it's fucking good. Like like they they'll follow. They'll take like two episodes and follow a team. And then just like throughout the season, and it's like you get the inside drama, the beef between the the drivers because you're on the same team, but they're competing against each other. Still. I gotta check it out. I'm um, already in, dude. If you're if you're not performing well, they're gonna call somebody up from the Formula Two. Like it's just like, you know, like, and, like their minor league. Yeah, and then you have all like you go to these different countries. They'll have like you know they'll cut to like Sweden's Grand Prix, then they'll go to Singapore's Grand Prix, then they go to Morocco Grand Prix. The, the the English Grand Prix, the English Open, like it's so freaking like, and the cars are badass, and the, the drivers are all like, you know, it, it's like the the young guys are competing against the older guys, you know, like, damn, it's so freaking good. So we just, um, yeah, it, it's just uh, we're we're thinking of going to the one of the Grand Prix. There's one in Austin, Texas, in October. We're thinking of heading over there. No. Yeah, we're we're we've been looking at hotel flights and ticket packages and all that stuff. Are you able to purchase plane tickets? Uh, by October, I'm assuming by October, hopefully, you know, because they're looking to push back. Because 
I think what Formula One's thinking of doing is they're waiting to see how the uh, Tour de France, yeah. you know, the bio cycling, like Lance Armstrong shit. They're looking to see if they're able to put their event on in June. If they're putting their event on in June, most likely Formula One's going to put their events on in the summer because their their season should have started already. Yeah. So it's it's. I think yeah. Senator and I are waiting for a vaccine to pop up. No. Uh-huh. And then we're going to Japan. You're going to go right. to Japan. We just we're just going to do it. So you're going to push back your plan to like next summer. 2021 yeah yeah that's a a good idea especially if you're gonna go to asian countries you gotta gotta be fucking yeah because i think uh korea the thing is what also about the coronavirus is that korea they had like 90 patients come back in who already had it getting it again and so it's like they think in that whole theory of you you get it you're immune is not necessarily the case oh my god so what this most likely is going to be is another version, uh, literally another version of the flu, where if you get sick one month, you're around someone who's sick, chances are you might catch it again because you're just consuming their germs. Oh, God. So this is not necessarily going to go away. It's going to be, it's going to need, some, it's going to have to be something that they're going to really need to control either with treatments or a, a vaccine because, mm-hmm. because it's, it's, what they're sh- seeing now is that so That's but good. back to back to netflix shit so it's like yeah formula i'll, I'll send you a, a picture of it if you want to look at it i know it's that you think sports docuseries is like ah it's not gonna be this it's fucking boring i just love drama so it's it's it's, there, it's drama I, it's I cool mean. it's it's just i just love seeing all the like the money you see the the freaking like the just the it's crazy and a lot of these drivers grow up racing with each other mm-hmm. like all the way from like eighth I didn't know that go karts are the start of racing for people. Oh yeah, like kids yeah. do go kart races and yeah. they like yeah do that yeah yeah. I didn't know that like go kart like, uh, like that's thing? the circuit is like go karts and then they 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 like progress and progress and some go to NASCAR some go to like you know stock cars I guess and then they they you know uh, you know if you got some good money and you get picked up you know Formula One. But it's got to be so freaking difficult you get, because there's only about 20 drivers, 21, 22 drivers in the whole freaking sport yeah. that are like one and two top level. It's crazy. Man. But but that's a great show. Um, I'm not really watching anything else. Oh, I, I got to finish Preacher. I got to finish a bunch of other stuff. But I think I'm on October 2001 on my timeline. I, I started rewatching my WWE timeline. For WWE timeline? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's like, Gotta do what we gotta do to <laughs> pass the time, man. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll break something down next week. We'll cover something else next week. Yeah, uh, there's definitely gonna obviously there's no shortage of MMA news. There's always no. something going on. Yeah, um, we'll catch you guys all next week. Um, who knows? May 9th is probably not gonna happen. You know, so we'll see. We'll see what happens. Until then, stay well, be safe. Yeah, be, be safe. Wear your mask. All that shit. Salute.